All aboard! Really, my mom noticed my vision loss as soon as probably six months old. Uh, when mom would come into a room and call my name, sometimes I would not always reach for her in the direction that she was standing. My vision is like looking through less than a three millimeter pinhole. So when I was younger, it was like looking through a toilet paper roll. I tried to make every excuse that I could to not be a priest. I tried to say, well, there's no blind priest that I know of. Eventually some priests started telling me there were. And then I said, well, I can't handle death and heart issues like that. How am I gonna to minister to families? It really started when I was probably seven or eight years old. I used to play mass in the backyard on a hay bale and I had a dog dish and a Folgers coffee can as my patent and chalice, and I would have masks for my dogs and cats. My love of trains has helped develop my spirituality and independence, and I firmly believe that it has helped get me to my vocation of discerning priesthood. I have, to a point, seen God, I would say, through other people. Um, through the sacraments especially, through his healing touch and the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, um, through the Eucharist. Um, it's, it gets to a point where words can't describe some of my experiences. We have to work extra hard. We are constantly having to prove ourselves. And no, it's not fair that we have to constantly prove ourselves, but that's the reality we live in. The greatest hope that I have for being a priest is to bring the comfort of Jesus to his people through his sacraments, listening to people when they're in times of distress, just being present to his people, proclaiming the gospel. Um, that's something our world needs. And if that means proclaiming that gospel through, you know, God doing that through a wounded healer, that's how it needs to happen.